So you have your GCC Physics Paper 2 exam coming up tomorrow. I'm going to give you some resources and some tips for this exam specifically in terms of the different topics that are going to come up, things that you should be looking out for, and whether or not you want to get a 9 or you want to just pass. The things that I'm going to say in this video will definitely help. So let's just get straight on with it because I know you don't have the time for me to be waffling. So the first thing that you need to be really clear with is the topic list for this exam. So if you are wondering exactly what will come up, the overall topics are going to be forces, waves, magnetism and space physics for those who are doing triple science and obviously you have the required practicals within them. So if we look at the ones that you need to know for paper two, you have the stretching of a spring practical, you've got the acceleration practical, you've got the ripple tank practical, you've got the waves in a solid practical, the reflection refraction practical and the infrared practical. I will go over these in a bit more detail if you are a bit confused but we're going to start off with the topic list itself. So if you're wondering exactly what you need to know, I will link some checklists down below as I always do that will go through every single one of the topics in terms of the specification and what they want from you. Obviously this is going to for AQA but if you are doing other examples I'll try to find some other links as well but generally the first thing that you always want to do is look through that checklist and make sure that you know everything and you have actually revised the subject right so definitely check those links out down below in the description even if you think you know everything really well because it's a really good refresher just to make sure that you know everything and you feel a bit more confident okay i'm going to give you a quick rundown of the different topics that there are and the things that i would recommend for you to prioritize especially if you are running low on time but what i want you to make clear is that if you do have time spend most of that time on exam questions and trying to focus on looking at different past papers and the kind of way they ask different questions try and spend as little time as you can on actually looking through the topics and making sure you Learn them obviously make sure that you have a good idea of every single one of them but don't just sit there watching YouTube videos and say that's your vision because that's just not effective at all that's just a way of understanding what you need to know after that you have to try and do as many questions on every topic as possible a lot of people always ask me whether or not to do past papers or whether or not to do topic questions as I've said in previous videos as well in your last minute stage focus on doing the questions only topic by topic because that way you can be really clear in knowing which topics are weaker and which topics you know more strongly so start Start off with forces, do questions on that, and then move on to the next topic and so on. That way you can really clearly see whether or not you know the topic or you don't. So even if you know the content like 50%, just go straight to questions and try and make sure that the stuff that you do know, you're able to do the questions on them. Because a lot of the times what people do is that they've gone over every bit of information, but they just can't apply it to the questions. Especially with physics, there's a lot of maths, there's a lot of application. You need to know how to do the questions for them. So we're going to start off with forces here. Within forces, there's a lot of definitions, but there's also a lot of maths. There's a really heavy chunk of maths within this topic and so obviously you're going to have to learn the equations if you're wondering which equations you need to know which ones are going to come up all of that will be in the checklist down below in the description also a very common question type for those who are doing higher a lot of questions involving diagrams where they ask you to draw out different arrows or maybe find the result and force based on the arrows that they've given you and things like that please go over that that's a very common question type that usually comes up and the weight equation comes up literally every single year so the w equals mg equation go over that as well obviously very easy Easy, very easy mark but and this also leads to the first required practical within this paper which is the force and extension of a spring the thing about this practical and like chemistry or something there's not anything that you need to know in terms of like the steps and how you carry out the practical instead what they usually do with a question like this is that they'd have someone else do the practical and then for you to do maths upon it or for you to just simply state variables and things like that so with all of these practicals make sure you're really clear in what they're doing and you know exactly how it works but then try and find questions based on the topics within this practical so so for example the force and extension of a spring practical required practical six that is within the forces and elasticity topic so if you want to get better at that practical you have to get better at the forces and elasticity as a topic because questions that they ask will be general over that topic itself that's the way you should be revising the required practicals for these kind of topics look at all of them one by one as well know the methods but you don't have to memorize them just be clear with what they're doing because a lot of the times they usually like to change the methods up and in some of them it's a bit more important to focus on the methods than other ones this required practical is one that you don't really need to worry about the method that much it's more about the maths around it this topic also has a lot of stuff to do with like motion and speed and distance all that stuff so basically like the suva equations these are probably the most difficult questions you get based on the maths themselves and even them they're not that hard it's just simply using different equations obviously do lots of practice on this if you want to get better at forces as a topic you have to do practice questions on it because there's very little information to know it's just more about using equations and doing math anyways that's forces i'm just going through the exact same checklist i will leave down below in the description it's really really useful in making sure that you know everything because it's literally got every single bit of information in it now the next topic is waves this is the complete opposite of forces because this one's very heavy with the 
information there's a lot of things you need to know like the different types of waves in terms of what usually comes up a lot in this topic a longitudinal transverse and that's just something that comes up every single year be really clear with the examples as well so know what type of things are longitudinal or what type of things are transverse because sometimes what they do they give you like a wave so sound waves for example and they ask you whether or not it's longitudinal or transverse they usually put in tables and stuff for you so I mean obviously go over this this is really important we've got some more practicals here so we talked about the ripple tank practical. This is one that they usually make you do a lot of maths in. So they like to measure distances and wavelengths and stuff based on this practical. It's just a bit of maths. And for people who do triple, you've got the required practical nine as well. So this is your refraction of light practical. This is one that the type of questions you get on this are very much drawing and being able to calculate, you know, like the angles that you get between refraction and stuff like that. Okay, then you have your infrared radiation practical. This is one that I do really want you to learn the method for. In fact, I can up an example where they have asked about the method of this practical in the past so in the i think it's the 2023 paper higher tier for gcc physics you've got a six mark question this is one that i really want you to learn the method for this is the type of question that usually pops up with a method question so learn the method for this one those first two topics are the biggest part within this paper so if you're someone who wants to really prioritize what areas to focus on focus on those first two topics because those are going to be the majority of this paper next two topics is the um, electromagnetism and radiation topic triple physics students space physics topic as well both of these aren't as heavy in terms of the marks that you get within the paper so don't focus as much on them but obviously if you can please go over every single bit of information there is within all of these topics but remember that the majority of your revision should be on the exam practice itself what I want you to do actually if you're someone who doesn't have time this is my strategy and this is what I would recommend I want you to look at the first two topics okay watch some videos and whatever try and understand the topics as soon as you've understood them do as many questions as you can on both forces and waves as much as you can okay just really focus on just getting as many questions out of it as possible uh, this is like if you know nothing this is what I would want you to do okay so focus on this first two topics and just do as much of that as you can until the end of the day now morning of your exam I want you to focus on electromagnetism and if you are doing space physics focus on space physics as well but for those ones you don't really need to worry as much on the questions just focus on watching as many videos as you can and really just memorizing whatever bits of information there is especially for space physics space physics is just a bunch of information you just have to memorize about the different planets and whatever but then for electromagnetism it's also just got a lot of definitions and a lot of things you need to know for example stuff to do with different magnetic fields being able to draw them because a lot of the times they give you questions where they make you match up in different magnetic fields with different like I think solenoids I remember that from GCC physics all that stuff generally is just stuff that you have to memorize and even if you do memorize it there's so much waffle within this topic that most of it you're gonna memorize and you're not even gonna have a question on it so in terms of what you're trying to get the most out of your revision, focus on the first two topics because those are the ones that usually bring up as many marks within them and so you're going to get more out of your time if you focus on those ones than these two topics. That's what I'd like you to do but obviously it's up to you and in terms of the required practicals, really just focus on memorizing the method of required practical 10, so the infrared radiation one. The other ones, just worry about the maths and stuff around the practical, you don't have to really worry about the specific methods within them but I do want you to still, for every single one be familiar with the method okay just have a look at the methods for all of them just watch a quick YouTube video of someone doing the practical just so you know exactly what takes place in it because you never know they might decide to feel weird and up a whole six mark question on it but it's really unlikely is if they do bring a six mark question on a method practical it's probably going to be the infrared radiation one but obviously go over all of them one more time and for the rest of it just focus on doing as many math questions as you can and just focusing on those topic based exam questions and you should be fine